Hello everyone, this is Graded Groudon. We have a monster sub of 300, 373 customer cards. Uh, that is my biggest ever monthly send off. Uh, we had a record month last month and it's then gone even bigger this month, which is really great to see. Um, we're going to have free subs, um, duplications to uh, affect the least amount of people. Where am I right now? It's Sunday right now, so it's the 30th of yesterday, and yesterday I did all the internal processing. So what that is, is putting your customer cards on Excel, uh, whose is what, blah, 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 all the information, your order numbers, your uh, contact information, and everything is down now. Um, also, the next sub deadline is 27th of October. I've decided because I do night shifts, so that day, if everything's in me by then, then I can get the processing done before I start my night shifts, which is great. Um, if you want to see the uh, information about how to get your cards sended, sended, is that a word? Just like Sean here, uh, who sent away Yu Gi Oh! You can send any sort of uh, card, PSA, wheel grade. Uh, I'll need the information if it's not Pokemon, though. Uh, it's at gradygroudon.com, middle icon of the homepage, UK and Europe. Um, another little sidestep, I've held you for 1 minute 20, I've only shown you a Yatu Garusu, is I've not been doing enough purchase videos on here. The, like, post has been coming at me thick and fast, um, it, it's got incredibly busy, that is all I can say. Uh, so head over to my Instagram, at gradygroudon, and I, I normally do a daily post there. Anyway... Anyway, that was the that was the talking bit. Let's see the cards. So then we're going to start with Sean, and he's sending some Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's play a little game as well in the comments. If you can catch the duplicates, there's not actually too many. It's not too bad, and um, but if you can, then put them in the um, comments below. So we start with Yata Garusa. These are all Yu-Gi-Oh. Spear Dragon. Left arm of the Forbidden One. There's quite a lot of. Uh, I turn that on, will that make it better? Yeah, I'd say it's a bit better. Left arm of the forbidden one, right leg of the forbidden one. Blue eyes white dragon. I mean that is that is the Charizard of Yu-Gi-Oh! Must be said. Uh, that that one I think in itself is the Charizard first edition at base. Uh, obviously the Yu-Gi-Oh! hobby hasn't caught up to the same heights as Pokemon. I don't think it will either, um, just a personal opinion. It, it was big when I was younger, but I don't think it was as big. So I think what you'll see is, there's definitely growth there. I mean, I'm definitely seeing more people sending Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and there's more interest in it. I remember all these old cards, but I don't think it's gonna reach the same heights. I think it can reach heights though, don't get me wrong. I still think it's definitely gonna be worth sending in Minty old Yu-Gi-Oh cards for sure, definitely. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I might be a bit biased as well because everyone knows I'm a Pokemon lover. Well, that sounds a bit weird. Um, Collector's Vault. Blue Eyes White Dragon again. We've got some more Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't worry, we do have Pokemon in this submission. Then we've got another Blue Eyes White Dragon. Neo. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I think when these cards started to come out, I'd left the hobby. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe these are new. I don't know. I don't know. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. I was there. I used to watch the original uh, TV series with the little brown key keybo. Key I can't remember. The little brown Pokemon that would just destroy everything really strangely with some kind of special effect. I don't know. Red Eyes Baby Dragon. A Toon. I remember that quite. There was Toon Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon was a favourite of mine. A Gear Field, the Red Eyed Iron Knight. The artworks are pretty cool. They're more like war warriors and dragons. But here we go. Here's our first Pokemon card. And it is a Zekrom from Black and White. And then we've got the Reshiram. I think these full arts uh, from the black and white era, the EX era, are definitely becoming a bit more popular. Then we've got the, the brand new trainer from uh, Burning Shadows, isn't it? Yep. Hold on, that might be wrong, actually. I think it is wrong. And then we've got this secret rare Mewtwo GX. This is the gorgeous card from the set, the one everyone's been chasing. And you really can't blame them. 
I, I think Ross got a gem mint ten in the last submission, and there's no reason why not to send another. To be honest, then we got a Charizard GX. Uh, this is the promo, of course, because they didn't send this out in Burning Shadows the set. And then we got Burning Shadows more here, so we got bodybuilding dumbbells, super scoop up, skate rope, multi switch, and rescue stretcher. Thank you very much. That's another 20 card sub from Ross. Really do appreciate it. Then the next sub is, I think it's Pokemon Sphere. I think so, yeah. Pokemon Sphere normally sends in a lot of, um, just the 10 cards today, but normally a lot of first edition goodness. Um, last month we had amazing first edition base set results. Amazing. I still need this one in Gem 10. So if this one does get Gem 10, I'm going to be annoying you. <laughs> I've got these these lot. I'm collecting the gym heroes at the moment. I'd still need that one as well. I really do. Um, so if that one got gem ten, then again, and this one. Sorry guys, not this one. Scizor from Neo Discovery First Edition. Uh, back in the day, I bought a lot of Neo Discovery First Edition. It was, it was what I would say my first investment set. I about bought about three or four sets. And it did me very well. Um, it started off all of this, must be said. Expedition, definitely growing in popularity as well. With the Fero, the Gengar, and then a Regirock EX from Hidden Legends. Yeah, that looks incredibly minty. You've got a little bit of whitening on the left-hand side. I'm sure you know this anyway. You're probably quite an experienced grader. Your grades did better than mine last time. Although, well, I kind of knew that already because... Well, you do send in awesome cards. They are minty cards. I think uh, you pulled Jungle from the booster box as well, didn't you? Anyway, we got a lot of cards to get through, and then I can't just I can't just stop. Uh, next is Yugi and stuff to sell from IG. Uh, thanks for sending this in. Um, I opened up your sealed card and put it into a card saver without a problem. So we got another blue eyes white dragon. Another blue eyes white dragon. Another Blue Eyes White Dragon. I remember this one. This was probably the last Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, I had. Yeah, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is an awesome, awesome hobby. If I could collect two sets of cards, I would definitely go into Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it's got great growth potential as well. That's the other way to look at it. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Dark Magician of Chaos. Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Very dark, um, very dark. A Luster Dragon. Yamata Dragon. Wow, look at that. So I'm gonna. Uh, I just want to show you that artwork. It looks really. It's like death, isn't it? Huh? And another Yatu Garusa. Garusu. I don't know. I don't well, thanks very much. That's a, you're a first time sender. We had a good chat as well. Um, so that's 10 cards going there. Next up is Walls UK. Uh, I mean, we've done business in the past, I mean, plenty of times uh, on Card Market and other places. It's a massive member on E4. Uh, I would definitely go check that out. Uh, I don't really post too often. I browse it probably every single day and post when I feel relevant. Uh, but Walls UK, I think you're an administrator on there, aren't you? And uh, yeah, top, top guy. Um, maybe he might come and pick these up when he gets the results in. Um, I think we're going to get some strong grades. Mainly because they're all new Japanese. Uh, but, no, 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 all new Japanese. I love that Pikachu. Any, I'm oh, sorry, any unique Pikachus. Great. Glaceon Level X there. Gorgeous. We've got the Charmander. The Charmeleon. Have we got the Charizard? Yes, we've got the Charizard. Look at that beast. Absolute beast. The Mew. I actually had to look up what this was. Um, and it's some sort of amazing promo. And I really like the artwork on it. I, there are unique cards in the Japanese uh, set. Which I really like. Or more like promos or things that we haven't got in England. Uh, I would really like to collect at some point. Mewtwo, Mew, Dragonite. I've sent in a lot of E1 
as well. I sent them in last month. Then we got a Reshi Ram 15th anniversary. And then the Zekrom. Again, cool cards there. And then we've got the... All, I mean, there's no way we can do a submission video without these two. Man. They come in every single month. Even if I only had ten. <laughs> this is really cool, actually. Um, again, I had to look up what this one was. It's the first time I've seen this card uh, myself. As you can see, it's got um, different Pokemon in the background. My Gen... Onwards from Gen 3, my knowledge is not great. But I love the Pikachu in the middle. And it's got this 2015 here. Some kind of unique card for sure. Oh, and please remember, guys, I haven't input into PSA yet. Um, and if I am not sure on a card, if I say something wrong in this video, then I will be sure or I will message you, believe me. I am, I am a bit uh, OTT when it comes to getting the information right. And then I triple check myself, I'll tell you. Um, next up is Sam. Sam is a regular sender, regular customer too. Dragonite, I think, is your favourite, but I think you're going after the Watsy first editions. Uh, you said, basically, you like to keep the 10s, and I cannot disagree with you there. Gem mints are becoming harder to get in the Watsy era. So what do we have? We have a full Team Rocket set. And I had a quick look at the backs of these, um, obviously inside the card savers. I think they look quite good. Um, I think you're, gonna, you're probably going to be looking at majority Mint 9s. Um, it was like small imperfections on a lot of cards. Uh, just being honest there. Um, but I think you will get some Gem 10s out of this. I would hope so anyway. I always want my customers to get Gem 10s. If it's up to me, if I was the grading service and you guys were sending it, it I would, you know, try and give you as many Gem 10s as possible. Obviously, I couldn't do that if it had water all over it and it was crumpled up, but, you know. Look at these. I love the Team Rocket set. It was actually the first Watsy first edition PSA 10 set I completed. And, yeah, very happy about it. I've obviously gone after the Gym Heroes now. And there's another, uh, there's an Erica's Vile Plate. I forgot about the game, and I'm telling you when there's a duplicate. <laughs> These are really cool. These are like the Pika, I think, 20th anniversary. I think you sent a lot of these away last time, or maybe the time before that. And we've got two Meows, anyway. Um, and then two Magikarps. Magikarp, oh no, one Magikarp. No, two Magikarps. What am I doing? There's two Meows there. Yeah, there is. <sighs> Slight of hand there, I did myself. Um, Blastoise, Japanese base. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, Erica's Venusaur, obviously, gorgeous, yeah, a real favourite among Venusaur fans, and then you've got the Blaine's Charizard, so, this card in English um, has been going through the roof recently, really just climbing ridiculous heights, I know it's a Charizard, um, but still, I mean, oof, it's a lot of money being pumped into that, I'm not sure whether that's stable. It might be. Actually, it might even go any, any every even higher. I mean, it's like one of those things you never know, do you, until you're in the game. The next one is Gwen. I thought Gwen was quite funny because sent away once, then twice, then three times. We've got three different orders. Um, might as well make it a third. And in total, we have 35 cards. Oopsie daisy. Got some cool cards in this as well. We've got a Shadowless Zapdos. Just a Raichu there from base. Clefable first edition, jungle. Kanga Scan, incredibly hard to get a top grade on. A Pidgeot, first edition jungle. Pinsir. For anyone who's interested, I've got the Scratch Error on the first edition PSA 9 available. Shameless plugin, <laughs> Snorlax first edition, or Wigglytuff first edition, uh, Aerodactyl first edition, Dragonite first edition. Let me move on. Haunter first edition from Fossil, Lapras, and then got some free, really cool Charizard base twos. I mean, these all look pretty good to me. I'm, you know, that's 
ni e mintish that is mintish i would give that a mint 9 i reckon so i reckon you got a name in 8 there a mint 9 oh that's your best one isn't it probably another mint 9 though but i mean god that would be amazing if it come back a gen that's a really good pickup uh, dark charizard Beyond near discovery. Of course, I'm only doing that with the whitening on the back. So if anything on the front is an issue, then I can't. You know, I, I'm only a quick review. That's what I do. Uh, for, you know, if I'm just having a quick look, just to make sure they're of quality to send in for customers. Dark Paragon Two. This is a, ma a massive promo. Again, I would like really like to collect the Black Star promos. I think that might be a set I embark on in the future. Charizard from Evolutions, and then the Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard, another Mega Charizard, Mega Blastoise. They grade all exceptionally well. A lot like the Guardian Risings, Lapras GX, Taurus GX, and wow, hello. Let's just pause there because I want a sip of my coffee. Hope you don't mind. Smell some of that onto my trousers. Yep, I oh, don't mind just waiting and looking at that. I mean, this is actually the first one I've seen uh, come through the channel. It's actually the first one I've seen in person. So thanks very much for sending this through. I know the prices on this have gone through the roof, especially for PSA 10. Uh, at the moment, if I had a PSA 10, I would sell it. Uh, and then I would wait a, probably about six months and then buy one again. Uh, for anyone who's interested in the new cards, I suggest, especially graded, I suggest waiting three months. Um, Pokemon still print the cards, so there's still plentiful supply. There's been three months of supply, and people will realise, oh, well, supply is continuing, and we can buy this card. So, what I'm trying to say is, to anyone who watches this YouTube channel, and who is dedicated enough to get to 17 minutes in, just be careful with the newer cards. Um, you can make, but also lose a lot of money very quickly on them. Just honest piece of advice. Right then, right. We then move on to a Portuguese friend of mine. Uh, Stylus PT is his name on uh, Instagram. A minute, losing my words there. And look at this. I'm. I can't be any more appreciative than that, and um, that's really cool. I'll be keeping this, you know, that that's just really cool for me um, to receive that. And here he is with his Groudon buddy. No, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> just going to put him on the side here with that. Thanks very much. That is appreciated. It's really cool to receive stuff like that. But anyway, let's have a look at your cards. You've got a lot of base set. Uh, and then fourth print base set as well. Uh, I will try and show the difference. I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up so well though. As you can see in the there. I hope you can see. And then there. So on this one it says just 19.99, And that is the fourth print base set. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one, which one's fourth print and which one's not, but you sent a good amount of them. Uh, and then you sent a good amount of just base set, which I'm not going to complain about. This one is, oh, I just did it. This one is fourth print. Fourth print is supposedly to come from the UK. Um, oh, sorry. Don't worry, no damage done. Uh, Gyarados. Fourth print is supposedly come from the UK. It does get a premium on the cards. PSA currently does not recognize it as a different base alternative for whatever reason i think it should be because there is a difference in the printing there is at the end of the day that it's simple as that but at the moment they still don't recognize any difference it's not like shadowless or first base where it's that obvious you do have to look into the detail of the card um so maybe that's something that PSA are acutely aware of. And maybe, you know, their graders are sports card graders. Um, maybe they're aware that if they send in a card and someone says it's fourth print and it's not, then that could lure the wrong people, which would be a shame. So, you know, I can kind of see why they don't. Another fourth print card there, Polyraph. 
Base cards are doing incredibly well at the moment, uh, investment wise. Uh, incredibly well. We've got the Venusaur, Zapdos, and then the Beedrill, Computer Search, and the Lass. There we have a Jolteon, unlimited of course, but still gorgeous as it is. I, I really do like the Jolteon. Um, it's my favourite card from the No Symbol set. It's my favourite card from the Jungle set, sorry. It, it is gorgeous. Very poorly on first edition. Then we've got a Wigglytuff from Jungle, a Ditto from Fossil, and a Venusaur Japanese, and Zapdos Japanese, and a Eric, no, not Eric, a Venusaur CD promo. Thanks very much for sending those in. Really happy. Um, Well, I'm just really happy with this month send off to be honest. Right, then we move on to a hundred card submitter uh, who wants to be known as anonymous, Mister or Miss, who knows? Um, and you know that's totally cool with me. Uh, they did say sorry for the cards being put in card savers uh, instead of top loaders, but actually I prefer them in card savers because that's what they're going out in. But that's totally cool. Uh, we've got a hundred cards here from anonymous. You can send anonymously, please don't worry about that. I mean, obviously I need to know who you are because the cards need to come back to you and I need some sort of communication. But when we're talking about public profiles, so on the YouTube video, for whoever's got this far, you can stay anonymous. Just let me know. Um, or I can also not shoot your cards at all. That is another option. Uh, I obviously prefer doing this and I know this puts a lot of minds at ease. It's like, oh yes, he's got my cards. It's all good. They all look great. Uh, I know that puts a lot of people at ease. But... Stop talking, Connor. Let's have a look at some more cards. We've got an Arcanine. Look at that. Acropolis, I believe. Gorgeous. Aridios. Azumarill. These are really cool E series cards. Uh, Crobat. Anyone who's in the hobby at the moment knows how massive these cards are going. And then we're going to move on to Skyridge. I've done that the right way around, haven't I? I hope so. Arcanine again. Look at that one. Which one's your favourite Arcanine? This one or the one before? Let me know. Articuno. Entei. That's Aquapolis, isn't it? Ah, no, I've done... Alright, I've said the sets wrong, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Please don't worry me. Please don't worry. Uh, Muck. Steelix. As I say, what's he first edition? That is my prime knowledge area. Or what's he? You know what I mean? I... I know all about that. I know these cards are officially Watsy. Oh, God, I'm, I'm screwing up. But they, I would consider them E-series. Um, but don't worry, these cards do go correctly. I'm not stupid enough not to uh, know that. Macargo. Moltres. I really like this Moltres artwork. Um, it's quite a powerful stance. Obviously, it's flying there because it's got houses in the background. Um, uh, yeah, just look, a real natural look there. The Politoed. Raichu, I, I don't know about that Raichu. Raichu, let me know. Any any Raichu collectors, let me know what they think of that card. Then we go on to some EXs. Uh, so this is from Unseen Forces. I actually know more about the EX era uh, than E series. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe I've just dealt with them more, I guess. Uh, Arcanine EX. Flygon EX. Really like that Flygon. And then the Blastoise Delta Species. I'm sending in three of these as well. Uh, this looks like a mint nine to me, uh, just because of the top. It looks very good though. Uh, if this does come back a gem mint ten, I would definitely be interested in buying it. Uh, anonymous, definitely. I mean, I definitely really would. I collect the Delta Species and gem mint ten, and this is a card I do not have currently. Flygon EX, gorgeous. Giratina, Level X, definitely increasing in popularity, the Level Xs, and the Palkia. And then we've got a Zekrom. Oh, we've got another Zekrom. We've got two Zekroms, how cool is that? Two Zekroms and a Tornadus. Then we move on to some Japanese cards. We've got a Moltres, a Lapras, Celebi EX, a Keldia. Two of them. Right, this is where I stop. I think this might be a white Chiron, but yeah, my knowledge is limited here, guys. It really is. Of course, obviously, I know when I send them off, they'll all be correct. Don't worry. Please, don't worry. 
I don't want you to worry about that. Um, I research, because I don't require you, a big tip, big thing for my services, I don't require you to give me Pokemon information. Um, I know a lot of Pokemon information, and if I don't know it, I like to learn it. Simple as that. Um, there's no rushing. Th this service is not rushed in the slightest. Um, I've then... The anonymous sent... The anonymous. The anonymous. Uh, sent away a bulk of these cards, and I'm just going to send you one, so you show you one of each, um, and, and not do the breakdowns, because, well, what you guys are interested in is the artwork, and that is totally understandable. I mean, look at that, Shaman. Gorgeous. A Reshi Ram there. Looking very elegant, I think. The Mew, I know this is a fan favourite. really is. Just a lot like the Shining Mew. I think loads of interest in that card. And there's the last one. Thank you very much for sending with me. First time sender. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, and these cards will be going out soon. Uh, we've got one more massive submitter. Before you get to see my cards. What am I sending off? I haven't been doing purchase vids. So I thought I might as well show you what I'm actually sending. Um, and the last sender is Ember. Uh, we met on E4. Totally out of the blue, just gave me a message about the grading service and I went through it. And here we are, I've got the cards here. 110 cards for a first time submitter. And if you are thinking about leaving the video and you're a Pokemon fan, we've got some top, top dollar cards here. Electabuzz, we start with Electabuzz. We've got LT Surge Jolteon. These cards are all Japanese. Uh, Typhlosion. Got a number of Lugias here. That stack is Lugias. Ho Ho Near Revelation. And then I've got to give you a thumbs up for this. Anyone who watches the channel regularly knows I'm a massive Neo Destiny fan. Uh, I will be doing a big video on that about investment uh, in Neo Destiny and where I think it will go over the next year or two. Um, don't that I will try and do that as neutral as possible. Uh, I will try. I promise I'll try. Got a Light Arcanine, my favourite card from the Neo Destiny set. Another Light Arcanine, gorgeous. A Dark Gengar. I really don't like the glare on this. Um, it's quite annoying, to be honest. It is annoying. I do need to try and sort out a way to... I don't know whether I'll have to change the location of where I do the videos. I don't know how bad it has been throughout the video. Um, maybe I should do them in my room, on a table. I don't know. Like Dragonite. Anyway, this is just to you know, show the cards and let everyone know everything's going fine. Uh, the the send-off deadline was yesterday, so this is just a, you know, a, just to tell everyone I've got the cards, order's been received, um, and they'll be going out very soon. A one day delivery, I might add, to PSA. How cool is that? Espion, Espion, Espion. Yeah, I think we can grab all of these. Then we've got another Espion. I do, I do want to collect a Japanese set of some sort. Um, I do like how the cards are laid out, for sure. Houndoom. Sent a lot of Neo Destiny away, and I do not blame you. It is a gorgeous set. Dark Porygon 2, that gave me a hell of a lot of trouble at the end. Dark Tyranitar, Miracle Energy. Then we move on to some promos. We've got an Ancient Mew. Pikachu, snap. Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu there as well. Um, that's an English promo as well. Gorgeous. This Moltres is amazing. When I first saw this, I was like, wow. Um, I've never had this card in in person. Um, I think the video might cut out in a minute, uh, so I'll have to keep reshooting afterwards. That is awesome. Yeah, awesome card. And then we've got a pass card with Macho, Kadabra, and Haunter, and Omite, and who's Graveler. And that's the back. Looking pretty cool. Master Ball, Trainer, two of them, Arcanine Promo, Electabuzz, 
than the grand party. I hope that didn't skip out too much. Um, Espion. For some reason, the camera only records up to 30 minutes. I don't know how many people watch this. E1, I sent a lot of these away recently. I don't know how many people watch this past that mark, but, you know. Mewtwo. Tyranitar. Arcanine. Houndoom. Entei. Then we move on to the second stack. Now, this is where the dollar cards are. Um, I am expecting a lot of gem 10s. Obviously, the Ember yours is going in a soul submission. Um, I'm not expecting duplications of free, so I think yours will just be going out in a soul submission. Because I know they're all Japanese cards, and it's best just to get all Japanese cards graded together, in my opinion. Tyranitar. Vaporeon. I know this is a very popular card at the moment. Raikou. Umbreon, gorgeous. Arcanine, Gyarados, look how powerful that Gyarados looks there. Another one, <laughs> Gengar, Gengar. Oh, hello, my phone's going off. Ooh. Well, oh, that's not great news. Uh, Latios, nothing to do with Pokemon, guys, just uh, something else. Latias. I do have an, a life outside of Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Um, but I do enjoy my Pokemon for sure. Leafeon. Shaman coming out the Vortex, I think, there. Another Leafeon, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Charmander from Delta Species. Another Charmeleon. The Mewtwo. Pikachu. Come on, get to the card I'm jealous of. Where is that card? Oh, well, I'll, I'll have to get to that later. Moltres EX. Zapdos EX. The Flareon from Unseen Forces. This is a top card. Top, top card. Now, guys, we're going to start moving on to the high dollar cards um, and that is one of them the Raikou Gold Star um, yeah there, there is real money in this submission now I really do give you the best of luck on your grades uh, I've put I've given them pink pink uh, so they can pull them out just try and give you a bit of luck Espeon EX Vaporeon EX look at these Metacross, Gold Star, Flareon EX, Jolteon EX. Sorry, I'm just reading them out. These are, these are cool. These are cool. Any Pokemon collect? Altaria. I've never seen that artwork. Looks very cool. Uh, Pikachu Delta Species again. From Holland Phantoms. Then look at this. This is a card I've wanted, either in English or Japanese, in PSA 10 for a long time. Um... It's probably up there. It's in my top 10 artworks of cards, uh, hands down. It's a shame it's got the gold star attached to it because I would just love it if it was just a normal card and then I could just buy it, you know, but it is a gold star, unfortunately. Jarazar from Delta Species. This is the card I was talking about. I love this card artwork. I'm trying to get this in a PSA 10 in English, but that's the real dude there. Charizard gold star. Look at that Japanese. Yeah. Top quality, top, top quality. Jolty on Gold Star. Pikachu from Gift Box. Mewtwo Gift Box. Mewtwo Gift Box. Then we got the last few. Mewtwo Gift Box again. Glaceon. And Blastoise EX. Ho Ho EX. Entei EX. These are really cool. Uh, full arts here. Ho Ho again EX. Oh no, a different ho ho. Another ho ho. Registeel. Mewtwo EX. Entei GX. Charizard EX. And then what are, what have we got underneath here? We've got stellar cards. We've got Bang. You know, wow. This whole submission is massive. Uh, you know, Mewtwo GX, the one we had earlier. That submission is massive, absolutely massive. Um, thanks for trusting me with those cards. Just adds quality to the submission, and it, well, adds adds quality to my service. Sorry, um, more than so than the submission. So when people watch this video, they're like, "Wow, this guy, uh, you know, does deal with high-profile cards and can be trusted." And I can be because. I'm a Pokemon collector just like the rest of you. If you've got this far, you don't mind me having a sip of my coffee. The next lot of cards are mine.
obviously again, um, so this sender, sender is Connor Davis, aka Graded Groudon. Got about 50 cards, maybe 60. I'm not sure, I won't be sending all of these, uh, but these are the cards I've picked out from my to be graded stack uh, for this submission. And we're going to start off with something really cool. The, this artwork, this one here, let's just put that into position, is a card I've wanted in PSA 10 ever since I decided to go for Groudon's PSA 10. It is a beautiful card. Um, and if I just keep... Oh, what? Oh, what? Yes, I, I have a number of these. Um, but I've been searching for this PSA 10 for so long, and I just uh, bought a seller out. Bought him out. Do you know what? It's going to cost me a lot of money from this PSA 10. And imagine if one doesn't come through. Imagine. The whitening on these things when they're pulled is awful. It, it, it's pretty awful. There's two in there, or maybe three, um, that I think have got a really good shot. Uh, so annoying, though, because I really do want that card in PSA 10. I think the pop must be incredibly low, just because of how difficult it is. Anyway, let's press on. Electrode from Aquapolis. Got two there. And then as I was saying, I have three Blastoise Delta Species. Obviously trying to complete that Delta Species. 51 card set, I believe. Ludicolo. I haven't got this one yet. A lot of these cards I don't have in PSA 10 yet. Uh, the Oxys, I think I do have this one. But it looks PSA 10 worthy, so it's worth sending in. Flygon I need. I still need this Gyarados. I've graded. Oh, I can't tell you how many of these things. I really can't tell you how many. There was one on eBay that sold for like 50 quid. and Oh, I should have bought it. Really, I really should have. Um, Kingdra. Latias. I love the Delta species. Just in the normal Hollow 4 artwork. That's why I'm collecting them. You could say they're an investment for the future. I do think they're at stock or rise as time goes on. I've definitely had some high profile sales of the Holofors and Reverses uh, on my site. Vileplume. I think people are starting to see the value uh, with these cards. Amphros. I obviously bought a lot of bulk um, before I decided to go on this adventure. Heracross, I have got this one, but they both look like gems. So they're going in. Meganium, I need you. Militich. Nido King. Just I like I can look at these. The artworks are great. You you're talking about Pokemon uh, that are normally so Nido Queen would normally be a different type and it's a steel type. And yeah, the Holofall just bounces off the card. Look at that. Gorgeous. Nine tails. I've got three of them. I'd still need this in a gem, and a gem would be great. I've just bought two more cards uh, already graded for the Delta Species collection. Um, for good deals. Pincer. Another Pincer. Snorlax Grass type. So a lot of Delta Species, as you can see from me. Uh, Togetich. Uh, Typhlosion. Obviously, the cards on the site normally uh, represent what I'm collecting. Uh, because I either get duplicates or I get, you know, grades I don't want, uh, necessarily. Gary Dose from X the Oxys. I had a few of these and I thought, I'm just going to send them in, hope for a 10. We've got a reverse foil there. It's a very popular Pokemon, Gary Dose, so there's no reason why not to send it in. And then these two, Deoxys, wow. These look both gem mint, so I'm really hoping for top grades on them. Might be a bit of a silver an issue. This Groudon is also a pain in the ass. Uh, I think I can say that on YouTube. I think I can. It's also just a pain. I want this in German 10. Please give it to me. Flareon from Unseen Forces. And then we have some level X's. Regigas level X. Alakazam level X. Ryachu level X. Charizard level X. Absol level X. This next card. This is the last card of the... 400 plus submission, if I'm including my cards, it is a card I want in Gem Mint 10. And I actually think that was an incredibly, 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 incredibly difficult card to get in Gem Mint 10. But I think there's a chance. I really do. I've showed this on my Instagram. It is a Groudon EX from Dark Explorers. 
Wow. Let's show you the back of this one. There is not much whitening in the slightest. If I was going to be damn picky, and I mean damn, damn picky, you're looking at the bottom left, bottom right, there are shades, shades, like minuscule dots. It would be very harsh, in my opinion, to give this a 9 because of that. Of course, obviously, I'm wanting the gem mint 10. I want, if it was up to me, I would trade all of those PSA 9s and just get a gem mint 10 on this. This is a card I have wanted in my collection for a, such a long time. Um, I was outbid massively. I bid $300 on a PSA 10, um, and it sold for like $550. You know, um, I wasn't expecting it to go that high at the time. It did, so that's that. So, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to buy one of these PSA 10 outright. But I might be able to grade one. So that is the big hope, ladies and gents. That is the big hope. Wow. If you've got this far through the video, you're already subbed. <laughs> but please do like. I mean, it would be appreciated. Uh, and comment below your thoughts. Guys, massive appreciation for this send-off. Huge send-off. Anyone, you know, from whoever sent 10 cards to whoever sent 110, they all matter the same to me. It's massively appreciated. Uh, and the graded grad on grading service goes from strength to strength. Right, that is it. I'm going to go get busy now. Thanks. Bye.